everybody welcome back to freestyle friday uh today we're going to be doing our makeup so it's um it's valentine's day you guys people always say they don't care about valentine's day and and i think there's some parts of these mushy holidays i guess you can say that i like and valentine's day is one of them you guys i think it's cute they always say um every day is valentine's day you shouldn't have to just get one day i hate that like True, we get it. Still, still, it's kind of, it's still fun. It's a day for a reason. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Can you get a chance? I'm probably gonna use some of the colors in the It's My Ray Ray palette because her, I like some of these, like that purple. I think I'm gonna use purple. I feel like because it's Valentine's Day, I wanna do like, I guess like pink. I kinda wanna do pink. Okay, let's see. So Kara has the Morphe palette on these little, is it nine? I think it's nine colors. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is it. I love this palette. There's nine colors. Okay, so this, wow, look up, a lot of pigment. Whoa, I didn't think it was gonna have that much pigment. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just going in. I'm not, I have no idea what I'm doing. You need to know, you know what colors you're gonna do? I have no idea what I'm gonna use. <laughs> well, you're gonna, are you gonna do a red lip? Mm -hmm. You're doing that red lip, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm still not sold. The lip color that I have, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's that, it's a really, really dark, I don't even know if it's brown. I don't know. It's like a burgundy brown color, and I don't really like those colors all the time. I either do nude or red. Yeah. That's the only two kind of lipstick colors I like, nude or red, and that's kind of where I end it. I don't really wear like the blue. Nude. Yeah, that, that people do the blues and the turquoise and yellow, and I'm like, I can't do lipstick colors that are blue. Yeah. And looking at all the Valentine's Day posts, yeah one or two things happen so okay things happen on valentine's day when you on, on social media either women are <laughs> either women are really excited because they have dates and boyfriends and all that stuff mm -hmm. or like women are really like downplaying valentine's day because they mm -hmm. don't have that <laughs> You know what also I don't I don't get I don't get when people are looking for dates for Valentine's. I always feel like it's a it's a couple, like a standing couple thing. Like you should already be a couple, right? I mean you say that people go, I don't, I don't, I don't have a date for Valentine. Like it's not about having a date for Valentine's, it's about having a relationship. <laughs> right? That's what well, I thought. I, don't I mean like it's what I I've, people they always I know they have things where you can date find a date for Valentine's Day. Yeah. I I, I, I refuse that. to date on Valentine's Day. If I don't have a boyfriend. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's my date. point. I yeah. won't do blind dates. On Valentine's Day. Yeah. I think it's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> it is awkward. It's awkward and it feels forced. Yeah, it does. It's too much. Any other day, the next day, I'll date you. Yeah. <laughs> not that day. Um, they get really weird about not being with somebody. And I just, because I'm not, I don't know. I feel like we just had a comment on one of our, our older videos, mm -hmm. being single in our 40s. That I'll, if you're watching this from YouTube, I'll put a a uh, link up above me so you can see that but this um it, you know the first thing we said in that video is i don't feel bitter like i'm not really that upset that i'm single no. you know what i mean um like you said though it'd be nice to be in a relationship but i'm not upset i'm i'm single it just you know i guess when you see i think like some people i mean especially like people that maybe our age they get a little they nervous. They feel weird yeah. being without someone. They get a little nervous because you get up there in the age. Yeah, I can see. I don't like being with people. Yeah. Just to be with Just them. Just to be with them, yeah. You know? You know? Yeah, I don't like that either. So I was going to do a, like, a, I was about to do a heavy cut crease. But now I'm feeling like I want to, this might be a mistake. There's a color in this Jeffree Star palette. Cavity. Cavity. It is a hot pink, y'all, right there. I'm about to try it. <laughs> I never even used that color before, ever. I've swatched it, but I haven't used it. So I'm going to put that on my lid. It's pink. It's hot pink. It's Valentine's Day. Why not? Whatever. Um, This guy asked me the other day, why are you single? <laughs> and I was like, because I don't have a boyfriend. I mean, I don't know what to say to that. I think it's so but, weird when people yeah, say stuff like that. I'm like, uh... But you know what happens, though? Is that I think what happens is is that you're a smart, intelligent woman. You're pretty, mm -hmm. you know? So I think sometimes people, men, 
when they see, they they start to get concerned. Like, why why are what's wrong with you? You know, I've had men before tell me, "Are you gay?" I'm like, "No, I'm just single. I could be single. Like, why does it have to be so extreme?" Would you tell the guy? That I told him, um, because I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> he was like, "Ha ha," and I was like, "I mean, well, that's but, the reason why." I said, but he was just like, "I'm just asking you because." You seem like somebody who have a boyfriend. I said. He said you seem like someone who have a boyfriend, and I said, um, mm. yeah, but you know, everybody. Just because you know, it's like as a people, it's like I think at some point, like everybody's single. Yeah. Until I realized that like, this one guy said to me, um, "No, I've never been single ever." What? No, see, that? I haven't been single since I was fifteen. He's like, I don't think I need that, and I was just like, yeah, but if you've never been single. Mm -hmm. There's a problem with that. That means you go from one woman to another. Yeah. So yeah, you don't have to be alone. There. I used to do that. I used to, um, anybody that I would date would end up being like my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Like it, I don't, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure I even made, meant for that to happen, but it, it did. And I'm like, I really need to probably date. And I didn't do that until I was in New York. That's when mm -hmm. I always started, started to like get into dating and stuff. So. I've had my dating moments in life, but I always find that men get mad at me because I take too long. They want a relationship quickly. Oh, yeah. I don't really yeah. like dating. Um, I don't like being with someone. What? It, uh, that's, it's so do you just think it's kind of like insecurity? Them just hurt, kind of hurt? Well, it's like they think, like, if we don't date now. Yeah. That it's, yeah. I know what you mean. You know. Can I use your liner? I don't know what mine says. Yeah. I have to stop. Cause it's gonna, you know how you, <laughs> you know, you put a liquid eyeliner on, and then you want to, you want mm -hmm. to just put like a not even thin line, just a normal line. If mm -hmm. you keep going, that line is gonna get thicker and thicker, and before you know it, your whole lid is freaking liquid eyeliner. Okay, if you guys are looking for a good foundation, um, I always recommend the Fit Me line of Maybelline, but then also this is a really good foundation. It's the Milani. Conceal and perfect two in one foundation. It's really good. It um, it feels like you're not wearing anything. That's what's up. And there's not a lot of transfer, and it's long wearing. So, so you know, the other day I was on Facebook, and a friend of mine put up a post about men, mm -hmm. and he was saying how the only the the only women that deserve deserve a good man are women who are there when men have nothing well that's oh. and i just really disagreed with that you know just because you meet a woman when you're broke yeah. doesn't mean that that woman is going to be there for you forever yeah. divorce happens yeah men feel like they can only trust you yeah if they're broke they don't once want, they yeah. have money they feel like they can't trust women anymore yeah i had a tired conversation with an old old friend of mine from high mm -hmm. school um and we talked it was a few years back and he wasn't sure if he could trust the girl he was the woman he was seeing mm -hmm. um because he's successful and he met her mm -hmm. um on his he met her when he became successful mm -hmm. he didn't meet her on the come up so he felt he's like i don't know if i can trust her i'm thinking mm -hmm. well then that means you can't trust anybody at this point, if you don't want to, I'm like, you know, just because, and then when, when, when he was telling me about this girl, woman, I'm sorry, um, she's super successful. Mm -hmm. This girl, she has, I mean, this is a smart, educated woman. She's doing what she loves to do. Like she, and I'm like, why, I don't understand. Why are you threatened? Why do you think she's threatened by you? Right. I don't get that. She has all her stuff. It's just commitment thing. Well, I once asked this guy, he was like. He's a little older than me, but he was saying that he was just like, have I dated? He said, have I dated women who have used me for money? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, have I dated women who haven't? Uh-huh. Yep. True. You know, he's like, and he said, let me tell you, the women that I dated that did use me for my money were women who had money. Yeah. He said, the women that were broke yeah. were the ones who were, who were wanting more, more of my time. Yeah. And they, you know. How do you feel with red lips? I feel like everybody's looking at them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Probably are. I feel like everybody's just looking at my mouth right now. So I remember when I was watching that, remember I was watching that um, stand up with Joan uh, Rivers, 
It was like back in the 60s. Mm -hmm. And she was on a talk show. It was like one of her first stand-ups. Mm -hmm. And, um, <laughs> she, and she like straight um, called out the people in the front row. Mm -hmm. And it was this young woman. And she was really pretty. <laughs> and there was, she had like long blonde hair like mm -hmm. Sharon Tate. Yeah. And her husband was older. Yeah. And he said, you're, she said, like, you're a second wife. You should, you're a second wife, right? And then the girl was like kind of laughing and embarrassed. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, just say it. You're, are you a second wife? And then her husband was like, yes. And then they kind of like nodded. She said, like, yeah, ladies, always be the second wife. She said, it's no fun being the first wife. <laughs> so she said, she was looking at the audience. There were first wives out there. And they mm -hmm. said, she said, see, they know. And she said, why? She said, the first wife is always the woman that the man settled for. The second wife was who they wanted, but couldn't get because they didn't have any money. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, because they're from Hollywood. Oh, okay. So she's there, you know, first wives are like, it's a joke. That's, that's you know what I mean? But it was funny because all these women in the audience are nodding their heads like, like in yep. agreement. Like that is because they've funny. all been divorced. And he was just like, yep. He said, look at all these women. You could be with men for 20 years. And as soon as he gets some money... <laughs> <laughs> he will trade you in for a newer model. Well, that's what happens with a lot of um, athletes. Yeah, well, yeah. If they get in there, she's like, they will trade you in for a newer, younger model. Yep. And she's just like, so every, so ladies, if you marry a wealthy man and you understand, you and he was wealthy when you met him. Yeah. She said, you were the one. Uh, you were the one. She's savage. She is savage. She's funny. All right, y'all. I'm going to put on this lipstick. Watch. This bad boy is dark. It does not go with these, this makeup look. Because honestly, I didn't know what makeup look I was going to do. I just started going for it. And here I am with fuchsia and hot pink. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, my God. It smells like chocolate. Interesting. Look at, no. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a completely different... It's a different look. It's like if, it's if, two if different you take looks. if you take away my eyes, it can mm -hmm. look okay, right? Yeah. You add my no. Okay, we're gonna take that off. Tried it. I tried something different. And this is why I stick to <laughs> nudes and reds. Oh, that looks better. Let me see. Yeah, it does look pretty. I don't know if this would be my look. What do you mean if you were on a date? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why? Huh? You mean why? I don't know. <laughs> you don't fuck yourself? Yeah, I don't feel... I feel like Miss <laughs> like Jerome Crawford with these lips. The funny thing is, is that you're wearing a purple shirt and it matches my eyes. Yeah. I didn't and then my that. shirt matches it's your lips. lips. Hmm. This is like, we are not... Like, what's... This was meant to be. This is meant to be. <laughs> Sometimes I think we think like twins. We do. We have twin moments. Yeah. And we're we're a year apart. But don't you think sometimes we think like twins? We finish each other's sentences. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we've been around each other for so long. We've been around each other too long. <laughs> okay, guys, we are all done. I hope you guys like the look. I hope you guys like the talk. Um, happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you don't have a Valentine, neither do I. <laughs> And I'm still good enough. Still. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. It does not limit how great we actually are. Um, we upload every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And um, I have playlists mm -hmm. for our other two shows. Um, I'll put them somewhere in here for you guys to go look at all of our other shows. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm. And share. And share. Follow our other like, like, follow Facebook, and we're also on Instagram. So go like those as well. So thank you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Bye.